Yo, 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 it's your boy Weston Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow in your craft. Now, today we're going to be going over ditto music and why I think you should really think about it before you decide to sign up with them, all right? Now, if you're an artist who has already signed up with them, then you should still watch this video too because this video might urge you to maybe not use them moving forward, all right? And there's a very, very important reason why I'm telling you guys this. Now, if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you'll know that I don't typically make videos like this, all right? Most of my videos are just reviews on different music distribution companies, all right? I pretty much just lay it out black and white for you, what the prices are, what the value is, what the music distribution company offers, and then I kind of just let you guys make your decisions from there, all right? Now, when it came to people asking me what my personal recommendations were, it always came down to two, and that was Ditto and Distro Kid, all right? But I always gave Ditto an edge because Ditto was actually cheaper than Distro Kid when you start considering all the add-ons that Distro Kid has that you have to add on in order to, you know, mimic the value that you would get in Ditto. And actually, my biggest video on my channel, my most viewed video on my channel is actually this video right here. Ditto is better than Distro Kid, all right? But moving forward, you know, I kind of have a new enlightened viewpoint when it comes to Ditto. And honestly, this viewpoint has come from you guys, all right? And what I mean by that is, I'm gonna say straight up, I've never distributed music through Ditto, all right? I've been using DistroKid for a very long time and I did decide to sign up for Ditto and I was going to actually distribute my next song through Ditto up until I actually made that video, all right? And what I mean by that is once I made that video and I released that video out to, to the world, I have been getting tons and tons of comments in that video and other videos, believe it or not, about a particular issue that artists are having when using Ditto Music as a music distribution company, all right? This is probably the main reason why I think that Ditto, there's something going on with Ditto. And let me further explain. When it comes to Ditto, all the comments that I'm seeing, all the negative comments and issues that I see that everybody is having with Ditto, all revolves around one thing and that one thing is the payouts for some reason so many artists are having issues getting their money from ditto when it's time for them to collect their money for their streams all right now i haven't actually checked every single person who went in the comments i mean i respond to all the comments but i haven't actually investigated their profiles and see if maybe they're all from the u.s because i know ditto is a uk company it's a company that's in the uk so i don't know if it's just u.s based artists that are having issue getting the money from a uk company or whatever the case may be but for some reason i'm getting a lot of messages about artists who aren't being able to get who aren't being able to get their money from ditto when it's time for them to collect their money all right now with me i i'm not one of those people that i have to experience something for myself in order to not want to partake in it like i don't need to get on a one-to-one -one fight with a bear to realize that it's dangerous to be in front of a bear you get what i'm saying some people are but me personally i'm not so when I see these comments and everything like that, it really starts to change my perspective on a company, especially when you get it in an abundance, right? If you get, if, if I got one comment about somebody having an issue with the payout, you know, I'll say, you know, that's probably an isolated situation. If I hear two, I'm like, hey, maybe it's a coincidence. If I hear three, I'm like, you know, it's probable, but who knows? Now, if I hear 50, I'm like, wait a minute what is going on and that's the point that i am right now so if you're an artist who's thinking about signing up with ditto music all right or if you're an artist who already has ditto music you may want to consider you know maybe switching distribution companies all right of course i can't ultimately tell you what to do if you want to stay with ditto if, it, if everything's working fine for you i get it but a lot of people are having issues with Ditto. And if you're an artist who's never tried to collect your money from Ditto, you know, maybe you're just letting it build up. I urge you to try to get your money out and see if you're able to do it. And if you have no issues with it and you're in the US or you're in another country, 
please leave comments in the comments of this video so I could see, you know, another side to this because honestly right now I'm getting tons of negative reviews when it comes to Ditto, when it comes to that specific topic, okay? And like I said before, I don't need to personally experience it to know that there is an issue. Unfortunately, where there's smoke, there's typically fire. So seeing all these comments, it's not sitting well with me when it comes to Ditto. So even though I did sign up with Ditto, which you could also do as well, all right, I haven't distributed any music on there and I don't think that I will moving forward, at least until I start seeing less comments about this or at least something, I, I, I hear something else that may restore my confidence in Ditto music, all right? So that's pretty much where I stand with it, all right? I felt that it was important to bring out this video and release this video because again, my biggest video is Ditto is better than Distro Kid, all right? And a lot of people could watch that video and say, hey, I'm just gonna sign up with Ditto because it's better than Distro Kid. But after, I'm, I, I forgot what year I did that video, but as of right now, as of 2023, I am no longer subscribing to the whole Ditto fan base. Right, I'm strictly at this point TuneCore and DistroKid. All right, DistroKid primarily, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm just gonna stick with them. All right, but if you're an artist who's looking into knowing, you know, what's the top music distribution companies to go with as of 2023, all right, maybe if Ditto was your choice, but now you're thinking about something else or now you wanna look into something else, I'm way ahead of you. The video I did last week can clear that for, up for you. That's actually, the video I did last week is this video right here. The best music distribution companies as of 2023. All right, you could go ahead and check this video out and it'll give you the top three music distribution companies that you could look into moving forward if you're one of those artists who haven't signed up for Ditto yet, but we're strongly considering it, all right? I hope I didn't ruin you guys day or night with this, but it's something that's been weighing on my heart and you guys know I'm all about helping independent artists, all right? And I'm all about making sure you guys are making the right decisions when it comes to your music career, all right? So I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions in regards to Ditto music, in regards to anything else music related, please feel free to leave comments in the comment section below as well. I'm here to help you guys as an independent artist. That's all I do. That's what I'm about, all right? If you're an independent artist who's looking into, at some point, leaving your nine to five job and doing music full time, but you don't know exactly how to quite make that possible, I strongly, strongly urge you to grab my ebook here. This ebook e will give you the exact map to how to do it. It's exactly how I did it. I do music full time now and I want the same thing for you as well, all right? But that's pretty much it. That's all I had to say about Ditto. Again, it's all up to you, all right? I just wanted to bring to light that a lot of people are having issues with the payout. And if you're an artist who's real about your money like I am, that's not something that I think we should be a part of, all right? But either way, I hope this helps. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Follow his place with accent bowls like whoa, buddy. I'ma do my thing. Cream of the crop like creme brulee. Repping my God, man, I ain't changed, so I ain't trying to hear what you gon' say.